What up, y'all? It's Bass, and I got a quick little idea, and I think it would be pretty good um, for the community for Call of Duty, uh, especially if Infinity Ward or Activision, since, I mean, this is a business, I think it would be pretty good, and also I think it would be great for um, console gaming in general, because this hasn't caught on yet, and it is the future of gaming anyway. Um, I always say that PC gaming is ahead of its time um, as far as trends and so on and so forth. And it's only going to be a matter of time before console gaming gets onto it, especially with the newer consoles uh, coming out. What if Call of Duty went free to play? Now, before everyone starts thinking, oh, no one fucking plays free to play games, just chill. League of Legends, Dota 2. Um, Regardless of how you may feel about the games themselves, regardless of how you feel about the genre that those two games are, they're two of the highest played video games, period. Or, I, I apologize, I take that back. League of Legends is the highest played game in the world right now, hands down. Dota 2 has um, also, was, I think it was a $2 million prize for the team that won. I think League followed suit and did something like 2.5, 2.6 million people for uh, their tournament. So think of it competitively, think of it um, commercially, think of it any way you want to. A free-to-play model for a game as large as Call of Duty, I think, would benefit Activision in ways that I don't think they're willing to risk uh, seeing. But I think at some point there's going to be a time where they have to because you're going to see a lot of games... Um, supported by bigger companies I could use uh, Counter-Strike Go as an example um, where it's a cheaper game or getting close to a free to play game or let's use uh, Blacklight Retrib Retribution uh, where that's a free to play game a lot of people are getting into it a lot of people are enjoying it but where does it come into play where you could say oh Activision could make money off of this well let's look at it like this uh, for League of Legends, uh, people could add money into their wallet in the game, for example, and they could buy cosmetic items, they could buy characters, they could buy so on and so forth. Imagine if there was, instead of the, I want to say 20 some odd guns that they have right now, or 25 guns that they have in Call of Duty, uh, imagine if they had 50, and imagine if they had constant updates, constant tweaking, constant, uh, um, att um, attention being paid to um, certain guns they could change the firepower on some they could adjust it to where it could be better for certain game types so on and so forth and imagine if those guns were maybe a three pack for fifteen dollars imagine if you could fully customize your character at the beginning of the game just by paying ten bucks and then you could change the, the armor look just basically all the cosmetics to it and uh, and before people say, oh, no one paid for that. Again, the highest paid, uh, highest played game in the world, um, solely uh, survives off of cosmetic um, uh, microtransactions, and that's what it would be. It'd be a series of microtransactions. You could release, say, for example, uh, a similar version of what this is right now for Ghosts, because let's be honest, Ghost does have a more competitive feel instead of you getting a hundred kill streaks those 27 28 kill streaks that you're seeing um, the KEM kill streaks that you're seeing are very very hard to get uh, for just the average player and it's very rewarding imagine if you had this blank sheet of a game and then every three or four months new maps would come out uh, new guns would come out new armor um, new kill streak perks um, an actual a full progression system in terms of not having to rush playing your game within a year before the next call of duty comes out it's all gonna be based off of this model now before people say well it can't be done well let's look at it like this uh, firmware updates software updates they could be any size at this point we're not uh, held back by technology now. You, everyone that has internet um, has at least Comcast, AT and T. I don't think there's a, very many people that have dial-up less left. Um, but it could be done. It could be changed. There could be content updates, patch updates, 
that could go and stretch into the one or two gigabyte download and that could just be a hundred percent content people originally could just get the game download it get it from the xbox live arcade playstation network so on and so forth and then you have your blank sheet of paper what if you don't say for, put like this uh some people really just want to snipe right and that's all right there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that so let's let's say okay you have a sniper pack there's four types of sniper rifles you could pick from and you could get perks around that and there's your game they wouldn't really have to worry about ak-12s they couldn't worry about the mp4 so on and so forth you could get perks generated or uh, uh catered to uh your your play style you could get dope looking ghillie suits so on and so forth i think that say for example four or five times a year if they give map updates and it's probably like four or five maps or six maps for 15 bucks I think they could generate a lot more money on top of that as well as the cosmetic items that they could get each year um, and cosmetic items could be monthly weekly if they if they felt like it they, they could be literally endless ideas that and 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 ways that they could customize Call of Duty and then also it gives each player and there's there could be millions of people that could get in on this both console uh, or PC um, that could shape the game the ways that they want to and instead of having to be forced to every year drop 60 bucks and then another $50 on top of that for the map pack instead of making up like hundred and ten dollars a year for Activision they could make Two or three hundred off, off off players. I mean, I I remember when I worked at uh, GameStop, people would come in and buy Trinity, two uh, like a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars worth of of, uh, of wallet points or wallet money for League of Legends at a time. They want it's that feeling of needing to have the newest stuff or the best looking stuff, um, cosmetic wise. Um, but this is just my opinion. I think it would be freaking amazing if they did this. I know a lot of people might be happy about that too. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, again, always, you can follow me on Twitter, at BaseTheRock. You can check out my blog, FatKidSocialClub.com. Um, check out my videos. Always leave comments if you feel like it. If you did like this video, go ahead and like it. If not, cool. As always, I do appreciate you guys checking out my videos, listening to me rant, my ideas, and all that. Um, but I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.